Paying it forward in Precinct 4, Bear County Constable Catherine Brown has overcome many obstacles in her life, including cancer, and she became the first black woman to serve as constable in Bear County. And now she's giving back through a community pantry that she opened at her office, and she gave our own Jaffney Gray a walk through that pantry, and she's going to tell us who it's going to benefit. We need resources. Nobody pays attention to the east side. Nobody pays attention to the northeast side. Nobody pays attention to the southeast side. So I said, okay. It's a cry Bear County Precinct 4 Constable Catherine Brown heard throughout her campaign, beating breast cancer twice. She says she knows what it's like to need help. Now she's even more dedicated to helping people in need in her precinct. I said, that's why God kept me here. <laughs> I survived for some reason, and this is a part of the plan. This is a part of the plan, again, to pay it forward, to give back, to show my appreciation. So she, along with the help of Eagles Flight San Antonio, have created this community pantry in her office to serve domestic violence victims, families in need of children's clothes, the elderly, and the homeless. Research has shown that we have the highest populated homeless uh, population in Bear County of all the precincts. So our deputies, during the course of their duties in execute, executing uh, evictions, they do uh, come across individuals that have those, those needs. And and what they do is they bring this information back to us and we look in our little pantry to see if we have the items. They provide help on patrol as well. These uh, packets here that we equipped our deputies with in case they come across someone that's in need of resources, they have these in their Tahoes. Brown says they hope to grow the pantry big enough to put on a big holiday drive for people experiencing homelessness by the end of the year. My mama always said a closed mouth doesn't get fed. <laughs> so speak up, don't be ashamed. Daphne Gray, KSAT 12 News.